Hey guys, this is Mary Catherine. I am making this video because I really want to share my Harry Potter Funko Pop collection. And it is by no means complete. I'm still working on it. But I wanted to share it with y'all because I've got a fair amount here. Like, I mean, I know that they make a ton. And I've got... A decent start but I definitely want to continue growing it but I just wanted to share it so um, anyway I just want to take you through what I already have and specifically some ones I'm still looking for um, so yeah here we go okay so the way I have my pops organized is numerically so I just put them on the shelf starting with one and going through the the one that I think is the last like I have I have an 82 down here so I've got some different ones in between but um so the first one in this collection is Harry Potter just in his Hogwarts uniform oh don't drop it um so number one um and he has his wand in his hand and pretty standard um, and then I like that on the back, it shows you all the different ones of this set that you can get. So, Harry Potter is the first one, obviously. And then my second one is Ron Weasley in his Hogwarts uniform. And um, one thing I love about these Funkos is I love the detail that they put into them, um, specifically with Ron's wand being taped. Um, if you saw... Chamber of Secrets, you know that he broke his wand when they crashed their car into the tree when they went to school. So I like that his wand is taped up. It's pretty cute. Um, and then number three is Hermione Granger in her Hogwarts uniform. Um, I love her cute little straight across bangs. Um, she's number three in this set. Um... And then number four is Albus Dumbledore, and he's in this really cool purple cloak and a hat. Um, he actually, I actually have another Albus Dumbledore as well later on in this collection who's in a different outfit, but I like that they put him in something really colorful um, and the stars that are on his hat also. Um, so he is the fourth in this first set. And then number five is Severus Snape um, and I love his hair I just think it's so perfect um, always kind of long and obviously in pretty dark cloaks all the time and um, yeah I just think he's so cute and he's number five in this set and one thing I'm not real picky about my boxes the condition I've I definitely want them to look as good as they can, but I'm not super picky about it. Um, number six is Lord Voldemort. Um, and you, I like in the movies, um, his character, who's played by uh, Ralph Fiennes, he's got little slits for, no, for his nose, and that's, I mean, exactly what he looks like in the movie. Very pale and white and colorless and always in long dark black cloaks so I think they did a great job with him he's number six um, the next one that I have I'm actually gonna go down to some of my larger pops here on the floor which is number seven um, Ruby is Hagrid and he is actually bigger than the standard pops I think he may be like a six inch and I love that they have his pink umbrella, which is also his wand that you see in the first movie when he comes to get Harry. Um, but yeah, he's it's kind of fitting that he's one of the six inch pops because he is huge in real life. So I think it's kind of fitting that they made him into one of the larger pops. Um, so he's number seven. I'll show you some of these other big ones in just a little bit, but going back up, to number eight, which is Harry in his Quidditch robes. And the way I've got these stacked is I've got kind of two rows on each shelf. So I'm not gonna pull down these because I have to take them all down. 
But number eight is Harry Potter in his Quidditch robes, and he's got the snitch in his hand as well as his broom. Um, so I just love him in his little outfit. And the number, I actually don't have number nine. Um, so I have number 10, which is Harry in his Triwizard outfit. So in the fourth book and movie, when he participates in the Triwizard tournament, each of the contestants has a uniform and his is red and black and it has the Hogwarts symbol um, kind of near where his pocket would be up top, but that's number 10. And then number 11, I have Hermione in her Yule Ball dress, which was just so perfect on her in the movie. Um, and her hair was curled and pulled back, which I love that they kept that detail also. Um, which the Yule Ball was also in the episode of the or the, the book and movie, number four, um, Goblet of Fire with Harry in his Triwizard uniform. Um, and then number 12 is Ron Weasley in his Yule Ball outfit, which is so hilarious because when his mom sent him his robes in that movie, they were really old. Um, so you can see the detail here on the box um, where he's got a real ruffly collar and a bow tie. Um, and I think it's great that his hair is a little longer um, because this was kind of the point in the movies where they were kind of really becoming their own teenage selves and their hair was long and I just think it was really cool that they kept these pops um, true to what the characters look like in the movies. Um, and then moving on, I don't have 13 or 14, but I'm moving on to 15 is Albus Dumbledore. The other one that I have, you can see that the first one I showed you, he's in this really pretty magenta um, outfit and in this one, He's in a light purple robe with this hat. Um, and then you can see he's got the elder wand. Sorry, the lighting is not great in this room right now. But um, he's got the elder wand in his right hand. Um, so I just think it's cool that they put him in two different outfits. But um, yeah, that one's number 15. And then number 16, actually... No, he's not the one. I just got another Sirius Black recently that I'll show you guys. But this is number 16, Sirius Black. Um, and you can see he's got kind of a striped jacket um, and a vest on. Um, so I think they did a great job with him as well. Um, and so he is number 16. And then I'll take it down to my next shelf. So... Number 17 um, is Dobby. Look at him, he's so cute with his little, his little sack that he wears. And in his right hand is a little sock, um, which if you are a Harry Potter fan, um, that is the only way that house elves can be freed from their masters is if they are presented with clothing. So at the end of the second book, Harry sneaks a sock into um, a book that is then given to Dobby. So he is freed from being the Malfoy's house elf. So spoiler alert if you haven't seen Harry Potter movies, too bad because I'm ruining them all. Um, number 18, I actually just got this one today. Um, it's the Dementor. Um, my husband actually found it at a comic book store for me. Um, so Dementors are very creepy, floaty, awful creatures who suck out your soul. So this one is true to that as well. Very dark and I love the detail that they put into, I guess their bodies. They're really skeleton-like. Um, so I'm trying to get a good picture, but the lighting kind of sucks in here. Um, anyway, so that's number 18. Um, I do not have 19 or 20, but I have 22, which is Neville Longbottom. Um, he was one of the harder ones to find. Um, I didn't see a lot of him for a long time. Like a lot of the ones you'll find are, you know, Harry and Ron, which are great, but Neville's kind of harder to find. And if you look in his hand, he has a little toad named Trevor, who was his pet that he brought to Hogwarts with him. 
Um, so I love that they put Trevor in his Funko. And then I skip ahead to 27. I've got a lot in the middle there that I don't have, but 27 is a Hot Topic exclusive Harry Potter. Um, and he is in his Christmas vest that Mrs. Weasley made for him, um, which is just cute. His is blue with an H on it um, that Ron's mom made for Christmas. And then number 28 is another Hot Topic exclusive with Ron with his Christmas sweater. So I think it's cute that they're together on my shelf. And then number 31 is a 2017 summer convention exclusive, um, which is Harry Potter on his broom. So he has a pop where it's number eight, where he has just to the snitch and the broom um, next to him, but this one he's actually in flight. So if I turn this a little bit, you can see He's in one of those Funko protectors, so it's, the glare is kind of hindering y'all from seeing. But he is on the broom, um, which is kind of cool that he's flying. Okay, so then going to 33, we have Fred Weasley, who has a suitcase that says Weasley and Weasley. Um, which, if you know you are familiar with Harry Potter, Fred and George have... <laughs> lots of different jokes and tricks and things that they um, can use to get out of class um, and that they can sell to other students so you can only imagine what is in his suitcase um, and then George is 34 and he has two little packages with W's on them for Weasley um, so you got Fred and George as 33 and 34 and then 35 is Bellatrix Lestrange, and I think I've got another one of her later on, but this is the first one that they made of her with her crazy hair. It's big and curly, and I like that they kind of made her eyes a little bit kind of red because she is crazy. Um, anyway, so hers is really cool. She's number 35. And then I'm missing 36, but 37 is Professor McGonagall. Um, and she's got her big pointy hat on and kind of long cloak. I like the way that her eyes are shaped a little bit differently than the other Funkos. Most of them are big and round, um, and hers are a little bit kind of, kind of half closed, um, but kind of just fitting to the shape of her face. Um, and she's played by Maggie Smith in the movies, so I kind of like that they really tried to... They really did a good job with most of these Funkos on making them look like their characters. Um, 38 is Mad-Eye Moody, and his is really awesome because he's got his, I don't know that it's necessarily an eye patch, but his, his crazy eye, um, as well as his cane. He carries this big cane that's, I think it's wooden, but it's got this kind of curviness to it and a little section for his hands. I love that they put that in as well. Um, and then everyone's least favorite character, I think she's worse than Voldemort, is Professor Umbridge and she's in her horrible all pink outfit. Um, and her little curly hair at the top I think is really fitting. Um, so she is 39. And then Okay, so this is probably, I don't know, I've tried to decide which one's my favorite, but I'm pretty sure this one ranks toward the top. So this one, like the, one of the most expensive ones I have, is number 41, and it's Luna Love Good, and it was a 2017 summer convention exclusive. And she has these ridiculously awesome glasses on. Um, Luna is just kind of a crazy character in a good way and so I love that her hair is long and curly and she's got these ridiculous pink glasses on. One lens is blue and one is pink um, but it's just kind of so fitting for her quirky personality and she's one of the one of the more rare ones. She's very hard to find um, and then 42 is Harry Potter again but he's got the Marauders map which is really awesome. Um, I was trying to see what kind of detail they put on the map. Um, 
can't exactly see any footprints or anything, but um, I love that they did one of him with the map, and he's 42. And then 43 is another Hermione. Um, this one is, I'm trying to think which movie this one's from. It's when she has the time turner and they go back in time. And this was like the first movie, um, this one I believe is um, Prisoner of Azkaban, the third one, which my friend Molly hates that movie because it is so different than the book. So um, I don't blame her, it is really, really very different than the book. Um, but in this one, it was one of the first movies where you see the characters not totally in their Hogwarts uniform. So you see them in like, she's in blue jeans and a pink jacket. Um, her hair's a little different. It's not as big and fluffy. And you can see she's got a little scratch on her face, um, which during that movie and some of the more adventurous scenes where they're toward the end, she, um, she does end up with a scratch on her face. So I kind of like that they included that detail in this Funko as well. Um, number 44 is another Ron Weasley, but in this one, you can see he's got, um, his rat Scabbers, who, um, turns out to be Peter Pettigrew. Um, his char this character is also from the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban, and he's got a little scratch on his face as well. So, that one's a really cool one. I like that they made one with the scabbers. He looks really cute on this Funko, but he's really terrible in the movies. <laughs> um, 45 is Remus Lupin, who, he's a great character. He was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher um, in Prisoner of Azkaban, I think. Yeah, so um, he's got, a lot of scars on his face, um, which he had in the movie. So, um, yeah, he's just a great character. Um, 46 is Ginny Weasley, Ron and Fred and George's youngest sibling. Um, so in this 40s, I think this is the first time she appears. Um, but she is in her Hogwarts uniform, got her bright red Weasley hair, um, and then my next row, I actually saw, you saw that Luna, and now I have this Luna, who is also awesome, number 47. She is in her Gryffindor lion headdress that she wore during one of the Quidditch matches. And it's just so hilarious because she is just this really hysterical character and she's always got these fun outfits on. And then I'm glad they made this one where she's got her big lion headdress on. It's really cool. And she's number 47. And then 48 is Peter Pettigrew, and he is that little rat right there. He was disguised as Scabbers for all of the first and second movies, and then his cover is blown as they discover his true identity. Um, but there he is. He's a just a, he's a gross little creature, and it's kind of interesting that I'm just noticing this. His fingernails... In the movie, he's got these awful, long, dirty fingernails. And in the pop, he also has dirty, long fingernails. Man, they did a lot of detail on this stuff, which is really cool. But, um, yeah, he's kind of just a gross little character. Um, I do not have 49, but I do have 50. It's another Jenny Weasley. She's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And she is in her Quidditch robes with her broom also. Um, so, she's a pretty cool one. Got her at Barnes & Noble, um, 53. It's another Jenny. Um, she's in her Quidditch uniform again, but this time she's on her broom in the same way that Harry has two pops, one of him standing with his broom and one on, on his broom. Jenny has one also. Um, so she has the quaffle in her arm. Um, that is her position on the Quidditch pitch. Um, so... There's hers, 53, and then we have Ron on his broom, 54. Um, and I think it's so funny that he has a helmet and Jenny doesn't. Um, anyway, so Ron on his broom is 54. And then we get into some more cool ones with Harry, number 55, 
is um, herbology Harry, as I like to call him. Um, so at Hogwarts, they take a herbology class, which is essentially botany for muggles. Um, so he's got this awesome little mandrake plant that he's holding and he's got his earmuffs on for protection because mandrakes scream really loud. So um, I think it's awesome that they made this character and the mandrake is just kind of cute but kind of terrifying. So that's number 55. And then down here, we're almost to the last row. 56 is another herbology character, but it's Ron. And he's got a mandrake um, and his mandrake is a little bit fatter, which in the movies, when Ron pulled his out of the dirt, his was really chubby. So I think it's kind of funny that his is a little bit uglier, um, but he's 56. And then Hermione has a Herbology pop as well, 57. And then got another Jenny, 58. And she has the Diary of Tom Riddle, which she had in the second movie and book. Um, so, and oh, look at her little freckles. Oh, she's cute. Um, and then 59, they actually made two versions of Gilderoy Lockhart. The first that I have here is a Barnes and Noble exclusive. He is in his blue robes. Um, and then they did a, another one of him in kind of like a blush colored outfit. So it's, the outfits are very similar, just different colors. They just, I guess, re-released this one through Barnes and Noble with a blue outfit because he was known for his very brightly colored robes. And then number 60, this one, I also have two Tom Riddles. This first one I'm going to show you is basically the exact same pop as the original one, but Target came out with this one and he's kind of like in a black and white sepia tone kind of thing. So he's He's really kind of muted in the colors that they use. And the reason for that is when Jenny lost that diary and Harry found it, he basically got to see back into time when Tom Riddle was at Hogwarts and the whole scene is in kind of this black and white sepia tone. So that's why they made this Tom Riddle in the color scheme that they did. Um, so that one you can buy only at Target. And this is the original one, number 60, Tom Riddle. Um, he's just in a pretty standard Hogwarts outfit as well. Um, 61, this one is awesome because it's Moni Myrtle and the lighting's not too great for y'all to see her, but she, um, she glows in the dark, which I've never actually tested before, but I think I might have to, but she's a 2018 summer convention exclusive and um it's awesome because she and all the other ghosts that I have they're in like this they're kind of like this blue you know kind of clear because they are ghosts um but this one actually glows in the dark which is pretty awesome and then 62 is nearly headless Nick and you can't see really well from this angle but his head will kind of tilt to the side as he is not totally headless, but nearly headless, and he's also in this blue color. He does not actually glow in the dark. I think you can get a version of him that does, but um, this one doesn't. Um, then I love this one. Number 65 is a Books A Million exclusive, and it's Seamus Finnegan, and it's hilarious because Seamus is known for kind of blowing things up when he's attempting to cast spells. So, in most cases, his spells result in a big explosion. His hair is kind of blown up, and he's got all this dust on his face. And I love that that's how they made his pop, because it is so fitting. So, I really love this one that they chose to kind of portray him in that way, because that's kind of exactly what his character did in the movies. And this one, oh. Y'all, it's awesome. It's another Books A Million exclusive, and it is number 66. It's Minerva McGonagall as her cat. So, well, it's not her cat. She is the cat, so she can turn into this cat. Um, and I love that they chose to make her in her cat form. 
and she's real cute. She's just this gray tabby cat. Um, she's actually one of the first things that you see in the first movie is her as a cat observing the Dursleys before Hagrid brings him, before he brings Harry to live with them. And this is my newest Sirius Black. I got him in a mystery box from GameStop. And so I was really pumped because I could have gotten him or there was one other one that could have come in. And I really wanted him because I didn't have him. So he's a GameStop exclusive and this is Sirius Black as a prisoner of Azkaban um, when he was in prison there. And so I love that they have his little prison sign, Azkaban Prison, and then his prison number with a few symbols. I don't know what they mean. But um, anyway, he's in his striped prisoner outfit. Um, so that one is really cool because I got it in that mystery box and I was so hopeful that he was the one I would get. And so now we're at the bottom of the shelf. Number 69 is my next one. I don't have 68. This one is awesome. I got it for Christmas. My husband got it for me. Number 69 is Hermione Granger. She is a 2018 Funko Fall Convention exclusive. And it is Hermione Granger in the sorting hat. So she is sitting on the stool in Hogwarts. I get where y'all can see. And she has the sorting hat on her head, being waited, um, waiting to be sorted into Gryffindor. So she's number 69. And then I have Ron being sorted also. He's number 72. And, ooh, 71, 73, I don't have quite yet. Um, so 72 is Ron being sorted. As well I don't have Harry yet so he's the last one that I need as far as the the big three being sorted into their houses and then 74 I also got for Christmas this year it is the Bloody Baron and I love that obviously not only he's that kind of clearish blue that the ghosts are but he's got blood pouring out of his neck which is awesome because that is exactly what his character has in the movie um, so I love that they didn't spare that detail also. And he's number 74. And this one is incredible too. Um, also a Christmas gift. Number 77 is Hermione Granger. When her polyjuice potion didn't quite go as planned, um, she accidentally put cat hair in her polyjuice potion for hers. And so instead of turning into... One of the female Slytherin students, she turned into this cat. Um, which I think is just awesome that they decided to make this into a pop. Um, so, and it's really awesome. I didn't realize, too, that her robes are Slytherin robes. Which is cool, because they were trying to sneak into the Slytherin common room. Um, 79 is my next one that I have. And it's Harry from the second movie after he and Ron crashed into the Whomping Willow, um, he made it into Hogwarts and actually, I was thinking that he broke his arm in that crash, but actually that was from a Quidditch match where he broke his arm. Gilderoy Lockhart tried to mend it and then eventually his spell went awry and he lost all the bones, so he had to have his bones regrown in the hospital wing. So I love that they have him in his little striped pajamas and his arm is in a sling. Um, so he's number 79. And then number 80 is a Hot Topic exclusive. It's Hermione Granger making that Polyjuice potion that I was telling you went a little bit askew in that previous pop. So she's sitting on the ground with her potion on the floor and she has a little bottle of one of the ingredients in her hand. Um, so I think it's great that they made this version too of Hermione. And now I have some awesome, these are bigger than the standard pop if you want to see a normal pop in front of these. So these are a lot bigger than the normal pops are. Um, this first one is number 64. It's the Basilisk. Um, you can only get at Target. And he is scary and big, but he's awesome. Um, and I like that his eyes are kind of this golden paint that they put on it so 
He looks pretty awesome. Um, number 64. Um, I'm going to temporarily skip over this one because it's one of my favorites and I kind of want to finish on it. But these three are awesome. Um, so they made three pieces of the Hogwarts Express carriage. Um, and there is Harry, Ron, and Hermione in each one. So if you laid them all out long ways, this would be the front one. It's got Harry and he is in the engine. Um, he's number 20 and he is kind of driving this first car of the um, Hogwarts Express. And then Ron is in the middle part of the carriage. This is number 21. Um, and then Hermione is in the bottom, if you can see her. She's, the plastic kind of hides her. But um, anyway, that's number 22. So if you laid them all out, they would kind of all go in sequence. But um, they're really awesome. Um, and then the last one, which is probably my favorite one, is number 82. Um, it is Ron Weasley riding the chess piece from the very first movie, which is incredible that they made this into a pop. So, Wizard Chess is a pretty crazy game where the pieces actually physically, like, take each other down. It's really cool. Um, so in the end of the first movie, he has to mount one of the knight pieces and actually physically ride this chess piece through the game. And so I love that they made this into a pop because it's huge, um, and it's him on his horse, um, like he was in the movie. And so I just think it is just incredibly awesome, but it's probably my favorite one. It's also the biggest one that I have, um... So yeah, I've still got some more to go, and my husband and I are going to the Dallas Fanboy in May, and so I'm really hoping there's one pop in particular that is very hard to find, and if you do, it's kind of expensive, but it is the Snape as a Boggart from Prisoner of Azkaban, and I am really pumped to even be able to find one, so... I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to find one. I think they're kind of hard to get your hands on. But that's going to be my main goal at the Dallas Fanboy is to find it and hopefully buy it. Um, and if not, I'll just get a few more pieces that I have in my collection that I need. Um, so if I can't find Snape, I'll find some others to add. Um, and one thing, if you are a Funko collector, um, Funko has an app that you can get. Um that will allow you to keep up with your collection um, and add things to a wish list so that you can keep up with what you have if you're not at home. Um, so anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching, listening. Um, yeah, feel free to comment, like, whatever. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you updated with any other things that we might find at the Dallas Con. Bye.